Hey there, I'm Lian Duan. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will run hands-on demo how to enable authentication premises API and UI. The video topic is how to securely deploy premises, how to enable authentication premises API and UI, verify basic authentication premises. The videos related to Markdown and YAML files are in my GitHub. The link is the video comments below. First topic, how to securely deploy Prometheus. Prometheus is free, open source system monitoring and alerting software. Prometheus doesn't concern monitoring metrics is a sensitive data. So Prometheus has hold understandable policy of avoid building support for security features such as authentication and encryption data. Well, Prometheus changed the idea less than a year. From January 2021, on the release of version 2.24.0, which support TLS and basic authentication. Do two things we can make Prometheus secure. In network layer, enable TLS. You can click the link to get more detail. In app layer, turn on the authentication there are three solutions. First solution, use built-in basic authentication. Second solution is built-in OAuth 2. Third solution, deploy NGINX reverse proxy. This is a common solution for Prometheus before the version 2.24.0. Today, we are focused on using built-in basic authentication. Go down to the next topic. How to enable basic authentication premises API and UI. I reuse all my YAML files from the video how to add the dashboard into Grafana, input the dashboard into Grafana. The video has all YAML files detail and the system overview picture. Basic authentication changing is related to three components. Permises, Permises Alert Manager, Grafana Data Source. Let's go to enable basic authentication. First step. Increase the password. There are two ways to get increased password. Use website or run command in your Linux box. I use a website way. Copy the link. Open my browser. Input the password. Click increase button. Increase the password. Next step, create a web.yaml file. The file content is in below. Basic underline auth underline users, username is admin, password we just generated, and then add a web.yaml file into docker command session in alert manager service and permissive service of docker compose yaml file. Next step, add basic underline auth of alert managers in permissive.yaml file since basic auth is enabled to alert manager. The password should be plain password. Next, remote login to my Linux box. Run the Docker command. Open the YAML folder. The location has docker-compose.yaml file. Run command docker-compose space up space minor D. Four containers are created. Final step, add API username and password in dashboard of Grafana because Permissive API based authentication is enabled, and data source is used API call to retrieve data. There are two ways you can do the data source change. One, remote login to your Linux box desktop and run the address localhost 3000, or use your Docker box IP. For me, it's 192.168.38.20. Port is 3000. Go down to the left menu configuration and then select clerk data source. Add data source, permissions. Name is permissions. Your is HTTP permissions service name in the Docker Compose. Port number is 1990. Turn on the basic auth. Username is admin. Password is Lian. Clerk save and test. Re-input the password. Test again. Data source is working. 
This is the topic for today. Verify basic authentication. First, check Prometheus API. We try to retrieve the Prometheus config detail. Since the basic authentication turn on, we have to put username and password. We got all the information. Next, check Prometheus UI. Since we already logged in, we don't need to put a password again. Next, verify alert manager. Port is 1993. Sign in. Alert manager is protected by basic authentication. Use Grafana dashboard to check data source. Data source is running. Import existing dashboard and, and verify the real work. Data source is working and able to retrieve the data. All the topics are completed today. Today we are run hands on demo how to enable authentication on Prometheus API and UI. Thanks for your watch the video. I hope it was help and it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever a new video comes out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below and I'll try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.